Hello! Yes, I'm making another video being very quirky and dorky. Isn't it great? Anyway, I would like to talk about my non-existent love life. Shall we? My pre-existing love life. Pre-existing? My non-existent love life. To say that as a fact. I was supposed to go on a date about two years ago. And, you know, I got stood up on that. I thought you were on a date. I got stood up. Dang, I used to be skinny. I have experiences with relationships. No, I don't. Really, I don't. I really don't have a good relationship in the past compared with because I don't have a decent relationship. I also not really allowed to date. So, like, I'm out if you're watching this. I'm very sorry. Anyway, love. Love is very complicated from what I've looked... F look, look, I can't even talk. That's how confused I am. I don't know what love is. If you don't know, I'm Filipino, in which the Philippines is known for many continuous love movies. She's dating the gangster. Starting over again. My X and Y's. I have the very depiction of love, which is falling in love in accident. So Mr. Stick to One does exist? You just found him. And falling in love with your high school sweetheart. Or just falling in love with anyone, even if it's a stranger or a homeless person. I love you so much! I have a lot of high expectations about love. I am young, but I do have a lot of celebrity crushes. With that, I would love to get expertise on love. So, um, I don't really know who to ask because... If I ask anyone in my family, they're just going to consistently ask me if I actually want to get a boyfriend because I'm not allowed to get a boyfriend until after college. With that, let's talk to someone who is a very good expert of love. But let's, I don't even know, I don't even know what this video is going to be anymore, honestly. Be with me. Before I talk to my quote unquote love expert, I think I should talk to someone that I've known me all my life and also that could expose all my secrets. So here is one of my best friends, Hedda. <laughs> So the difference between her and I is that I'm single and she's taken. You said that really, really slow than I thought you were going to say. <laughs> so hi, my name is Paris. I'm with one of my best friends named Hannah. Hannah has a lot of experience with liking guys and she's known me for about two years. Pretend it's been two years. Okay. Now here comes the tea. Have I ever had a decent boyfriend? No. Why no? Um, you want me to explain her? Fine. Um, most of them are and then some of them are too chicken, and then some of them are What is the number one quality I find in a guy? That he is nice. Do you think I'm ever going to get a boyfriend, like, maybe today, tomorrow, or, like, in, like, 20 years? In the future. So, like... <gasps> Would that be when I'm alive or dead? I think it's when you're alive. But you can still meet someone when you're dead, Paris. Hopefully in heaven. What? <laughs> I don't even think I ever had a boyfriend ever, really. How is it like being not single? Well, um, you know, he's pretty nice. Football player. Now that I've talked to one of my best friends that have a lot of love experience, I might as well talk to someone very older than me that has a lot of love experience and probably will really doubt in my opinions about her love experience. Boo. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've always wanted to do a vlog like this. This is crazy. BTW, this video is about to get very shaky. Okay, so about that love expert. This is a love expert. Well, I don't know. You know what? Yes, I am. <laughs> I wish you were going to prom because like I'm gonna be lonely. Well, no, I'm not gonna be lonely because like my boyfriend's gonna be there. Oh, I was gonna be like, you can bring me, but. Oh yeah, I would bring you too. Oh my gosh, I was holding my chicken yesterday and it was so cute. Here, let me. I'm gonna name him like Robert the Rooster. How's that for a name? Robert the Rooster, yes! Oh, he's so cute. But did you just get this rooster? Okay, so like I have had chickens, but He's the only rooster. We got it by accident. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, we're trying not to crash. Or are we? I'm a great driver, and honestly, if it'll put an end to all my misery, then let's do it. JK, I'm a good driver. <laughs> I don't know. So, when I taste tequila. Sorry. <laughs> the difference between us is basically I'm single and they're taken. And Grace is taken. I am taken. 
He's a very handsome young man who I'm proud to call my own. Thing about my love life, it like I want a boyfriend, but I don't want a boyfriend. But at the same time, I do. But at the same time, I don't. So what's your question for me? She does not look interested in this video whatsoever. How do you find love? <laughs> Well, that's a hard question because men suck. But in reality, you need to find someone who has, first of all, first and foremost, foremost, not to get all Christian on you, but God is really an important part in a relationship because God is love. In order to have love in a relationship, you need to have God. Jesus, take the wheel. And then you need to find someone who does not already have a bad reputation. If he already has a bad reputation and he's like, oh no, I'm different now, I'm gonna change. You know, sometimes that's true, but a lot of time, he's just being a little another man. So ignore that toxic kind of person. We don't need that. Before anyone makes any judgment about this video, this video and opinions and advice is all from the people and myself. So do not take this advice. Literally, you can take it whatever you want. This is all for comedic content. But okay, like to just like clear things out, how well am I finding like an actual guy from like the experience, like not the experience, just like what have you known? You like guys, well you're like, <laughs> because they're like, I don't know, you either find ones who live like a thousand states away, or you find one who, you know, how does that work out? So like, what do you think is like a good quality to find in a guy? Loyalty is like number one, mm -hmm. like the biggest thing. Cause you need to be able to trust him that he's gonna be like true to you. You know, you do not want some nasty savage caveman and breaking your heart, okay? No, and, but you also need to find someone who you have like a really good connection with and both like things that you like, um, like, like so like, mm -hmm. uh, just have in common but then also like you know you can like laugh with and enjoy like every moment you could be like walking around in like the grocery store and be having the time of your life that's on uh me and my man's to-do list you know we're the risky type going to the grocery store is risky i was kidding my camera is gonna fall out of this window don't go find no man we shame them. I mean, Paris. I don't know why you attract so many. Anyway, that's the end of the video. There's nothing really else for me to say except um, go subscribe, go like this video, um, follow Grace's Instagram, follow Hannah's Instagram. I'm very promoted today. But um, anyway, this video was all jokes before anyone hates on me that this live advice is really weird. It's all jokes and all games. I just need an excuse to talk about love for some reason freaking weird reason because every youtuber talks about it i know i'm jumping on the trend anyway peace out man <laughs>